Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Eli Fire back at you guys with another video. And in today's video, we are back here today with another scouting video. So I just want to say this: I can't stress how I, I just can't stress this enough. I really love scouting these NBA, these like new NBA prospects that are like currently in college or overseas that's gonna be playing in the NBA one of these days in the future, as of right now. Because it's just to me, it's just like very interesting to analyze the new upcoming players, and basically just it just shows us or tells us what we have in store for us NBA fans coming into the future in regards to the NBA talent wise and the NBA skill range for the new up and coming players because you, you see you take in consideration players like LeBron James Steph Curry and all those other type of players that are current superstars to this day they're going to be retiring soon they're not going to be playing in this NBA very soon they're going to be retired they're going to be no, they're going to be known of as legends and that's going to be in the, the end of that and analyzing these players it could give us a sense as to what new NBA talent is gonna it's gonna be basically bring it to the table for the future when these current day superstars retire so i just really love analyzing these new nba prospects for that standpoint and other than that let us in let's just get into today's video so the player that we're gonna be scouting today goes by the name of jalen johnson i've actually never heard of this player as usual all a lot of these players i'm never gonna be heard of until i researched them and like i've already said i did some research and i looked up the top 10 or just basically the overall range in regards to the NBA draft prospects of the next NBA draft 2021 and I came across this player he just caught my eye and I just I just thought why not let me just scout this player he, he's from Duke and you guys already know Duke generates a lot of young great talents such as Kyrie Irving Jason Tatum and stuff on along along the guidelines like that and other than that let us get into today's scouting video so first things first, he plays the small forward position. He's from Duke College. He stands at six feet eight tall. He has a wingspan of six feet ten and a half long, and he stands at two hundred fifteen pounds. So he's six feet eight tall. He has a pretty decent wingspan for his height, in my opinion. He plays the small forward position. So I mean, there's a lot of small forwards that play like point forward. Like nowadays, that what I'm seeing is like there's a lot of small forwards that could ba basically dribble the ball up the court, playmaker stuff like that. Like you already know lebron james and stuff like that so maybe jalen johnson can be that type of player or he could be a, like a, just a small forward that's like a shooter just a just a straight athletic type of player down in the paint i really don't know how he plays we're just gonna get to that in the highlights later into this in in this video so looking at the draft notes here it says johnson is a versatile player who could play on or off the ball and he has legit point guard skills in a 6-8 frame so that just answered my question right there so i just i remember just like a few seconds ago i just basically stated how he could probably be a point forward and it says right here he has legit point guard skills in a 6-8 frame so you know how lebron james he plays the point i mean he he's, he's a small forward but he could play the point guard position if he really wanted to due to his due to the type of playmaker skills he has at his size and that's really a great thing because there's not a lot of point guards into my notch that's able to be this tall and able to play point guard and just just showing that Jalen Johnson is able to do that that's really just shows how talented he is as a player in general in my opinion so moving on it says he excels at initiating the fast break and finding his teammates and he is a true quarterback of the offense his length and athleticism allows him to defend multiple positions and he's a high level rebounder who can hold his own in the paint and he projects as one and done lottery pick of uh, for Duke so looking at that description it seems like like I like it says already and like my opinion it, see, it seems like he's a very versatile player in general he's able to play the point forward he can rebound and he can play make like you know he's he seems like he's a really talented player like so far looking at the, that description looking at the today's current stars it could seem like he could probably be if he has the shooting skills I don't know if he could shoot yet but if he does have the shooting skills we're probably looking at like another like form of Kevin Durant I mean minus the size difference I mean, as you, I, as you guys already know, Kevin Durant is seven feet, and but he plays the small four power four type of position, and he could dribble the ball up the court. And he's really talented to be able to dribble at his size, and he can shoot like that. So if James Johnson can shoot really good, and he already has the point guard, you know, talent, the playmaking talent, and he can save with a quarterback of the offense in regards to passing and stuff like that. So maybe he could be like another variant of Kevin Durant. Maybe he grows seven feet tall. You never know. Nobody is. The, the, 
but nobody is gonna stop going until like they're 21 of age and looking at this Jalen Johnson seems like he's a really talented player as of right now he is a heady player who makes good reads and is a skilled passer so that basically sums up the way that he passes he's a really great playmaker and he has excellent speed and overall athleticism and he plays above the rim with ease so looking at these two descriptions it kind of gives me a little bit of a Russell Westbrook slash LeBron James vibe because as you guys already know those two players they have excellent speed and they have really great athleticism and if Jalen Johnson is able to do both of those he could probably be a vintage form of those two players and if he's able to shoot it's gonna be really it's gonna be over for this league if he can shoot once he develops in this league as a whole um I mean as you guys already know I'm an OKC fan so I'm scouting this as an OKC fan so obviously I just really I'm just gonna be biased a little bit I want the OKC Thunder to drive every young talent they have looking at their pecs and looking at their circumstances and Jalen Johnson he's looking like he's he could be a really vintage form of those two players those two superstars in regards to Russell Westbrook and LeBron James if he develops in the according to plan and basically you know he's gonna be able to develop his game as a whole so if he can't shoot he's gonna be able to develop that and it just depends on how he develops how he plays in his league when he gets into the NBA as of one day he has decent shooting form but it's inconsistent so that just basically blows up the way that he shoots I mean it says he's inconsistent so maybe he could shoot here and there but it's not gonna fall all the way but like I said he could develop his shooting in order for him to be ha have a more consistent jump shot so like I like it says right here it could take some time to develop this aspect of the game but if it takes some time it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day time is gonna uh, developing anything is gonna take time at, at the end of the day and you know it went to once it develops it's, it's basically gonna all pay off at the end of the day so why not he could get his own shot off the dribble using his slick ball handling step back and fadeaway moves so it's look like he's a little crafty with his dribble moves too point four six eight jalen johnson let me find out you're a point four let me find out how you're gonna be in this league and okc you're gonna be looking to draft this player my man has a smooth mid-range game and a, and a soft touch around the basket so he has a really great mid-range game just like lebron james and russell westbrook so like i've already said or like i've already said early in this video maybe he could turn into like a form of kevin durant you never know the future is bright for these young talented players if things go according to plan he crashes the boards well and he could rip and run he has good length for a perimeter defender and he could really lock down his man he defends at the rim well for wing slash guard and he's an overall versatile player on both ends of the floor so we've already seen a lot of the, his offensive game it seems like he's a point four, a really great uh, uh, point four. he could basically knock down the bear range and probably his three-point shot is very inconsistent and he has defense so he's gonna be a really great two-way player if things comes according to plan when he go gets in the league so he's getting college experience in Duke by I me mean, in my opinion one of the best colleges that a player could go to and it generates a lot of great talent in the in the future of the league in general so maybe he could be one of those players that come from duke and just push this league in its tear just like other players in the past so you never know but other than that me looking at these draft notes it seems like he's a really it, it, it seems like he has potential to be a really great player in the league but we're just gonna have to find out once he gets into the league as of today so I found this website that goes by the name of goldduke.com that basically shows more in regards to Jalen Johnson's bio. So looking at these looking at these descriptions right here, it basically just shows like some like all the stuff that he wants in regards to his awards, his trophies, and something like that. So it's really not important to me. But what I'm looking at right here says his 19 point games came without missing a shot, a for eight field goal, one for one three point field goal, and two for two free, uh, free throw, setting a Duke freshman record for the most points in the game with 100% shooting so he's setting up records for the for basically one of the best colleges that you could go for that's really you know that that just really just stood out to me in my opinion because I mean we have already went over the fact that he his shot could be a little bit inconsistent but he's still efficient in the paint it seems like he, he probably he, he could probably be able to get other players involved he could probably make his teammates better in regards to his playmaking skills so it's looking bright for Jalen Johnson in my opinion with the performance, he became the first Duke player in history to post a stat line of 19 plus points, 19 plus rebounds, 5 plus assists, and 4 plus box in a game. So, as you guys already know, Duke has de has generated a lot of great talented players in this league, and it seems like Jalen Johnson is breaking a lot of records that those great talented players in the league as of right now couldn't be able to break. 
So it's looking like he's a really great and one of the best players Duke has ever had. Looking at these hindsight just descriptions, in my opinion, and hopefully he gets in the league. Hopefully my OKC Thunder drafts some. I mean, I, I really love all these young talented players I'm looking at and analyzing as of right now, in my opinion. So maybe OKC could draft and maybe he could blossom into one of the best players in the league. The future is bright. Got to grab to grasp for the stars and moving on. So this description right here isn't really that important, in my opinion, but it says right here his. 19 rebounds marks the third most in a game by a Duke freshman while his 15 defensive board set a Blue Devil freshman record. So he's setting records back to back to back. My man's a record setter so maybe he can set some records when he gets in the league. So I know I'm really talking high on him right now but you really gotta grasp for the stars when you're looking at these young talented players. You really can't see nothing in college because in my opinion and probably a, a lot of any other NBA fans' opinions, college does not mean nothing when it comes to NBA basketball the NBA is a different league you're playing against different type of players in regards to pros veterans and players that's been in a professional setting like the NBA for a very long time so maybe he plays good in college and maybe he gets in the league and just becomes a bust but you never know but I really highly doubt that he's gonna become a bust and you just gotta wait and see what happens when he gets in the league he became the third Duke freshman to post a double-double in a debut game joining Jason Williams November 11, 1999 and Marvin Bagley the third uh, November 10th, 2017 and he recorded 11 points and grabbed 4 rebounds in the championship classic versus Michigan State in December 1st. So like I've already said, sorry my that was my phone, uh, so like I've already said, He's looking like he's setting a lot of records consistently right here. So it's looking like he's very dominant in college. Let's hope he can be this dominant in the NBA as of right now. And in my opinion, I looked at, I analyzed these a little bit, these type of stats a little bit on the bottom. It's really not, I, in my opinion, it's really not that important because in this type, it says this most recent season in regards to the 2020-21 season. So I'm looking for more recency in regards to the past because looking at the past, players play good in the past, but then you get to more recently and then they're just not good anymore. So I'm looking at the most recent stats and it seems like he's just as good as he played in the past So I'm really not gonna look at the other tabs and in my opinion It seems like he's gonna be a really great stud in this league Just the future is bright for this NBA league as of right now regards to the generating young talent that they are gonna generate in the future So we scouted Jalen Johnson. We looked at his bar. We looked at his stats We looked at his basically his scouting report on goes to the NBA draft prospects of 2021 And in my opinion, it seems like he's a really great player. It seems like he could possibly be a once in a generational type of player in my opinion in regards to the benches that I've compared him to in regards to Russell Westbrook and LeBron James in my opinion so hopefully he could manage out to be that comparison in my opinion and in the future when he gets into the league as of right now in regards to the 2021 NBA draft once it comes around and the last thing we're gonna do as of right now as you guys already know we're gonna look at some of his highlights to evaluate his game in a more competitive college setting of the game of basketball here we go so he obviously played for Duke. I don't even know his jersey number, but I'm assuming that's him. And it looks like he has a really great turnaround fadeaway shot. You know Michael Jordan did that turnaround fadeaway shot a lot, and it seems like and he has defense. It did say he has defense in the description, but he blocked that clean, and he's able to get that rebound for his team. Yeah, so that was a nice cut. Great cut. So it seems like he knows the coordinations in regards to the court in a general and it seems like he knows how to play the game of basketball as a, as a general player and like I've already said he brought the ball down the court like that and basically converted for the layup right there to get an easy two points for the Duke team. So and he's shooting three so we got we already saw that it said that he was inconsistent from three but his memory range was a little bit better than his three but um as of right now we're looking at the developing side of things so maybe we could or if, I hope OKC drafts him if OKC could draft him or if not if any NBA team could draft him maybe could, they could develop his three point shot to be way more consistent in order for him to dominate in the game of basketball as he just considered that nice block right there and the nice defensive play to just stop that player to, from scoring that's really good man good defense good offense good all around game in general so far as to what I'm seeing good pass so he has really great court vision so it's, it is what I've expected really great court vision LeBron James great court vision Russell Westbrook great court vision 
and I said that he could probably be beat a Kevin Durant if he forms his shot the right way like you know how Kevin Durant shoots and he's like really tall and is able to play make the ball just like Kevin Durant's able to do so if he gets his shot down like that if he wait was that him no that wasn't him I, my, my mistake he was the one that passed it to him really great court fish in general but as I've already seen if he gets his shot down pat the way Kevin Durant does he could be very dominant in this league. Getting rebounds like that, getting tip rebounds like that in regards to, you know, offensive rebounds to tipping the uh, the ball back in the basket. And it seems like this is the last highlight to end of the video. Really great player in my opinion. So far he's really looking like a really great player in my opinion. But other than that, that will be the end of today's video. There was a lot of stuff you have to keep in consideration for Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson, probably going to be one of the best players that we scouted as of right now in my opinion looking like lebron james out there court vision bringing the ball up like that get that shot down and you're going to be really great in this league as of right now in my opinion when you get into the league but other than that that'll be the end of today's video make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel i will greatly appreciate it i'm out peace